Cube, 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 so, so that's the so the Jacobi hidden function, right? So, so this is the one one thing. I mean, you can a slot in what general version would be you take a um, so take a, any any lattice any quality. So I guess most of us might be familiar with if I take a quality, definitely z lattice quadratic lattice quadratic. Uh, that is, so Z module find a run with a with a property with definite quadratic form. So so then I can form a beta, beta function, beta function. So you can attach beta function. Um, it's called a beta lambda. So again, it's, I mean, the formula is pretty much same. I pick Q to the say so my quadratic form is given by uh, rocket, so I take, take my sum. So this is this also defines a modular form. So it's modular. So the modularity is, is sort of crucial in, in all the classical number of theoretical applications, right? So okay, that's that's the first result. We classical result um, um, that will sort of repeat itself, or its generalization will be our um, our goal, one of the goal. Okay, here I can view this as a function um, on a set of lattices. So I can look at all the lattices. Quality definite, right? Quality definite lattices um, over Z. Um, so yeah, this is a set where I have a function. Uh, to module form. So maybe I can run as a sort of two variable, two variable function. Then the um, other the other variable will be um, on this um, 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 well, SL2, right? So, so now let's say I have so SL2, SL2 real number uh, divided by SL2Z. So the familiar Formulation, maybe most of us are familiar with this formulation of a writing module form as a function is on, uh, on this uh, quotient uh, or locally symmetric space. So you have sort of these two variables, two variable function. <coughs> um, so the second result is about, uh, so how to sort of, well, um, well, second result, let's see, this is, in the uh, simplest case, z go, so z go sort of, uh, or z go v, v is a uh, general, sort of vast generalization of a z go result. So in the simplest case, this means if I, if I consider all, maybe I should have said even that is, anyway, so there's some even, to really get a module form of a SL2z level. Otherwise, you might have to consider a module form of deeper level. Um, so z go, so if, you, if, you, if you consider a sort of an average over lambda you know, up to, I mean, up to isomorphic, all the positive, all the positive definite analysis, positive definite, uh, even lattice. So okay, I mean, as we already do, you should really consider the stacky sort of uh, counting. We should uh, we should count lambda with the multiplicity given by the finite automorphism group. So lambda is probably definitely so the automorphism group is a finite group. So I have this average. So Ziegler proved that this is actually a constant multiple of some universal constant. Times Eisenstein series. Eisenstein series. So in other words, if you if you uh, if you integrate over the first variable, right? So earlier I said this function, this function here, theta theta function really has two variables. I mean, you can I can view it as 
function with two variables. One variable is on the set of all the lattices uh, with quadratic form. Um, the other variable is, is sort of SL2. So, see, so this way I'm, I can write this as sort of an integral, right? Just integral of theta function on one variable, sum of all lambda. Just give me the item on the SL2. So, yeah, so those, those four results are sort of the, um, the things we want to consider. Uh, you know, well, generalize in what sense? Um, so, first of all, I have a set of lattices. Um, so, this, well, this can be considered, well, I can rewrite, let's, let's rewrite it a little bit with two variable, two variable set. This is really, I can view this as, well, I can look at some orthogonal group. It's called, uh, let me call it G orthogonal group attached to a certain quadratic space B. Uh, um, definitely, and H will be SL2. So, so I have uh, this sort of theta function being a two variable so theta function, theta will be two variable ones on G. Okay, I, I forgot if David has used this notation or not, G bracket to give it a automorphic quotient where the adelic points divided by, right, so this right here, so any reductive group over suitable, say, here over the rational numbers or any global field, we write as G bracket to be G over L's modulus as your global field. It's a global field. Um, so I have a theta function of two variable, which is on G, G bracket, or H bracket. Or if we're in a function field case, I would have uh, rewritten this as sort of bungee or is, is it already outside the boundary? No, the boundary will follow you. Okay. <laughs> or we can write it as write it as bungee. So in a case of function field, k points or k is a finite field. Uh, I have a, a curve over finite field and I look at bungee k points. So, I mean, I will elaborate on this function field version more later on. So, let me just this way I have theta function, two variable. Um, so, for the so the first thing that is about constructing. So, constructing uh, a kernel function of two variable. Um, so, the second result is about um, well, people call it theta lifting or theta correspondence, where you uh, you integrate, you, you you consider the trivial representation on the first variable, then you use your kernel function to extract a function on the second variable, right? And this is if I, if I have such a kernel function, I can I can lift, I can use it as a kernel function to to uh to link automotive representation or automotive form on one variable to, to, uh, to the second variable. Um so the Zigo V formula is about linking of the trivial trivial representation on one variable. And it tells you that actually you get you see isotonic series on the second variable. Um so okay I, well, we see maybe later why so there are interesting questions. So okay but first of all let me tell you generalization in sort of in two to what context? So, so here, well, I can view this as sort of. Uh, so the generalization will happen by um, by replacing what well, one of the two variables. Let's say I want to, in our case, we I want to replace bungee or in the function of the case, I re, I re, I'm going to replace the k points of bungee uh, by the sort of Schrupa space. A modular space of Schrucker's. Schrucker modular. Um, where, uh, which leaves over so called, there's a so called a leg map or characteristic map uh, to, to a curve. Well, here, let me, let me fix, uh, fix a curve. 
CMOS project in terms of our final field. Um, so I can look at so called a shloka attached to a certain group. In this case, um, a fogum or actually a unitary group later on with a uh, uh, so the multiple of X. Um, so that's so in the case of a, a, a function field, in the case of number field, uh, so which is not a, not a focus of today's talk, but I want to mention. So this as a parallel the case of number field, um, number field case. So you have a Shimura variety. Um, which are some, well, in our cases, they are actually more just spaces of abina varieties. So, in some sense, that, that, there is a, there is, there is over some, some number field or uh, number of rings. Um, so, so there's, so the, so, okay, so the interesting, so the reason we prefer or we like to, um, um, well, okay, so, so in the first case, there's already huge not, in the number of the case, there's a lot of conjectural work due to Kula Rappaport, so this is sort of Kula Lock in the Rappaport, and maybe also the other people too, so there's a long list of uh, mathematicians who, who would try to find the, you know, find the right generalization of the energy series, and also how to prove or formulate a version of Ziegel formula. Um, so the new feature here is, so I, I, I told you here I have this sort of leg map, or here I have a map of um, Shimura variety. So you actually uh, get an interesting thing by, uh, by this new sort of geometric generalization of theta function, where you, 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 you get a derivative of Eisenstein series. So, um, so that would be interesting because those Eisenstein series actually provide the unique access to L function. So as far as I know, um, so there seems to be no other way of, of getting L function unless you, so, so the overall, so suppose you want to study the modulus with a true or, or modulus with a you know, variety in the case of number field, function field uh, respectively. So you, you want to collect those, uh, so the Hasse V zeta function, special value, uh, of those functions, uh, zeta function, two properties of uh, you know special algebra cycles. So the only way of getting to uh, connection to L function is to sort of first of all you connect your uh, cycles to Eisenstein series, then using the doubling method of Piatesky, Shapiro, and Rallis, where they had a theory of connecting Eisenstein series to to L function. So. That sort of explains why this was an interesting question. Was it sort of the, um, the question that one wants to study? You know, it seems to be the only way of connecting to L function um, is sort of go through this intermediate object, um, the Eisenstein series. Okay, so I, um, so now I'm going to be starting more precise on the. So the goal will be. Um, well, earlier I had some functions, but of course, a function can be also built uh, as a, um, well, okay, in my case, my, <laughs> this was sort of, I can view this as a, as a class in the cohomology group. Well, it's, it's a zero dimensional scheme. So a function is the same as in some cohomology class. So you can imagine in general, my, my our goal will be to construct a, um, so now you see that you might already guess. I want to construct a terminal function which replaces one of the variable by uh, by a certain geometric space, namely modulus space Shuka or or uh, Shimura varieties. Um, so we look for so I want so I want to have some class, either a cohomology class, or maybe in our case actually we are even we're, we're sort of lucky to even uh, enhance or upgrade 
the objects we get uh, could be element in the child group of a certain geometric space for the true count that we define later on. Um, then and um, H, a point to actually get in class, class. So the theta seems this will be our so the theta arithmetic or arithmetic um, theta series. In the Shimura variety case, you replace this step by Shimura variety. This this one by some uh, uh, by the uh, and the local space that has to SO two. Uh, okay, so let me now let me say uh, move to the precise definition of. Uh, so just like the quantum antenna function I mentioned earlier uh, was actually the first presentation was to in terms of, uh, was given in terms of a Fourier coefficient, right? Two to the nth power or two to the power of you know a certain norm. So here we also want to define this theta series using um, <clears throat> sort of the Fourier extension. So we're gonna give the Fourier extension, the Fourier coefficient, and um, the desired modularity <laughs> turns out to be also still, and it's a conjecture in the, on the level of a child group, uh, we call the modularity conjecture for the genetic series. And we can we can prove if, we, if you pass to the cohomology, uh, sorry, yeah, if you pass to the cohomology and also pass to the generic fiber. So let me, anyway, let me now give you some precise things. So I have, okay, I have already a curve fix, um, most projecting curve. Uh, so for technical reason, it's actually easier to work with unitary group rather than orthogonal group. I mean, maybe a lot of you already are familiar with such transition from uh, I mean, orthogonal to unitary. I mean, type A and B groups are much easier than the type B or C, right? So I mean, B or D. So um, so here we're gonna work with. Uh, so G will be unitary group. So U so N uh, over five and field. Um, so, uh, so we consider on G or bound U N. So let me just recall the definition here. Um, maybe this is not, not really uh, new to a lot of you here. Uh, so this parameter is permitting bundles. So this means a pair uh, of locally free sheet over the clock. Let me also take quadratic field or quadratic uh, double covering, which will assume to be a tau uh, double covering degree two. So I look at, so the, in this case, we can write down the definition of uh, bungee for unitary group as. A more precise formulation where f is a locally free sheet on um, the green uh, rock n bundles, locally free, uh, locally free sheet of rock n over the curve of uh, the double coverage, and there is a formation pairing. So it is isomorphism. Let me, uh, it's called sigma, the large figure outmorphism. Um, So I look at the, the view, uh, the pullback along sigma. So, so there's such an isomorphism, which is a permission, meaning if you apply again, you it's uh, it's, it's equal to its uh, its uh, adjoint. So this is a so this is okay. We know this is a smooth RT star. Um, so that's bungee um, for rock n. So, okay, a is given an integer here. Um, so, yeah, then we can consider Stuka. Well, Stuka is defined sort of using heck modifications. Um, so, here we look at 
type modification of surface type, um, namely I consider the he hex star. And so the Stuka, what has vector bundles, which uh, differs from its Frobenius pullback by some small amount, there's some modification type by so the hex star here. Hex. We look at the simplest hex star where hex u and uh, let's say a fixed integer r, so the iterative, so r is um, iterated version of hex, hex star. So, so this parameterized um, bundle of e, say e plus x is zero, one. So where so I, so here I have a minimal sort of minuscule modification, meaning I have a um, so I have a so intermediate guy for the f half, um, where the call kernel so this is call length one, call length call length equal to one uh, for both modifications, um, and f f i's are unitary bundle um, 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 so it's the iterated version and, uh, so just repeat the same R. Um, so colon one for all those uh, uh, arrows and uh, you of course you want you want to require you have to require the compatibility with the Hermitian structure. So, so this means you know actually one determines the other one because there's a duality. So I should have I, I, mean, I could have completed the diagram by taking a view using the Hermitian forms H H I zero H one. So anyway, you can you can imagine how to obtain this diagram. It's not a, it'll be completely natural. So you want to be sort of diagram community. So, um, so this is a modification you have. Uh, we want to consider. So it's sort of the minimal one here. That's the colon for one condition. Um, so implies you know this heck star has a map to the curve x prime r power, where you remember where the support of the of the, the uh, modification. So. Right, okay, so this is actually smooth. I guess one nice feature of the minimal modification is I get actually smooth map of relative dimension um, uh, proportional to n, I guess, n minus one and the r. So each, each leg, each, each leg give you n minus one dimension. It's the iterative radius sort of PP projective space of n minus one dimension. So it's, it's rather, it's as simple as possible. But I want to point out, I mean, the, actually, this is for simplicity. You can, I think our code uh, or the construction also works if you consider more general modification type. Although um, uh, the state, uh, the Stuka space will not be, well, I mean, we have, we have singularity. And, uh, so one has to be slightly more, more careful, but, but anyway, so the, the idea I think seem to it work. Okay, so that's the heck um heck stock. Um so, so the legs the legs are just in the are are X prime. X prime. The legs are in X prime. Um so this is well everything is actually yeah those are whole X prime shape. So um, um or you think, okay if you put S Test the scheme times this. Um, so yeah, those are so so those two supports actually are conjugate to each other by the sort of the requirement of uh, this sort of duality, um, the Hermitian Hermitian structure. So really, you're I'm recording the support of this guy and this guy, ignoring the other one because other one is sort of determined. Um, so uh, you can also view this as sort of as uh, so the modification count, and you can forget about the provision structure. So you do get, so you have a map to the heck 
stack for geo and over over quadratically. So it's sort of some um, yeah you have forget if you forget the permission structure you you, you can can view this as egg modification uh, over the for run n bound over the over the double covering. So that actually turns out to be useful because uh, you can later on I can actually pull that construction from GLN from a double covering to the unit circle. So that I can use I can use it, I can implicitly use the embedding of G inside what I consider G as group scheme over X. So it can be embedded into restrictional scanner of GLN X prime over X. So um, but then, then I have actually more the the the, the number of x as a modification of G O M over x prime bundle will be doubled because I have actually right I have one two I mean both arrows have to be as they, they should be remembered. So in that case, I have a sort of hex modification of twice the number of modifications and uh, legs. Uh, but that, that's useful. That's actually useful. Um, so a auxiliary structure in this case. Um, so, okay. So anyway, that's that's the construction here. So the Shudoka now is, is sort of de defined as um, so Shudoka G with RNA um, for our special for uh, I. This is defined as well. Okay, one way is to just write as this sort of. Partition diagram, I can write as bound G uh, for unitary group, G is UN, a unitary group. Um, and you can look at my head fix that um, G, where you the projection map is uh, remember the first and the last. So, Sends to F0, FR. So I mean, ignoring the permission sort of notation, H is, but everything should be built in. Um, so I look at, so this is the usual way of defining, defining Stuka, uh, more, I mean, more explicitly, which means, so one object here, so one object here looks like a sequence of permission bound to F, you know, F, F zero, yes. In other words, it's a sequence. Uh, one and one and R, but then you require this to be this to be you know I what to the thing is um over uh, S variable. If, if I have S points, S with a scheme of a K, a path scheme. S points will be a bundle where I saw that all the partial properties, uh, sorry, identity, the partial properties, S, all that zero. <clears throat> require this sort of additional isomorphism. Um, so that's sort of the one, uh, well, so it's a point of, uh, of this Shibuka. So because of the smoothness for the X star, it's then it's, uh, sort of relatively easy to, to see that. Uh, the space, the Shibuka space from, for, for, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, RNA, so this has a map, first of all, to x prime to r star. Um, this is actually smooth. What's well, okay? So the map for start. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, locally, finite type. Um, and smooth of relative dimension given by given by the same number here. Relative dimension. And minus one times up. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. But this. So, so once you increase one leg, you increase 
the dimension of minus one. For people who are in the field of Shimura varieties, this with a, the relative dimension is not, it's not, I mean, it's maybe familiar to you because it's exactly the uh, dimension of Shimura variety attached to. Um, so it's also the same dimension formula, right? Famous dimension universe Shimura variety. Unitary. Shimura. Uh, attached to signature, you don't know what. So it's the other one. Our minimal, uh, so the minimal multiplication is sort of a analog of a signature type in U and one, a minus one comma one. Okay. All right. So good. So that's my my space. Um. um so remember, our goal was to construct the pass. Uh, or rather, I mean, I want to construct the for extension. Um, so now let me let me raise let me raise maybe here. Um, okay, let me raise just here. Um, so what is the for extension here? Um, so in the, in the classical, in the, the, the result I mentioned in the beginning, I had a two extension. Um, so all the you know classical modular forms for SL two Z, uh, they have a core extension. Um, so the function field case, so which we're considering now. So let me consider the group H in uh, the analog of uh, some collective group. So this will be uh, U. Let me consider actually any integer M, M comma M. So Although actually M equal to Y is already interesting enough. I mean, it's, it's, so the, the whole thing doesn't really, doesn't really become uh, more complicated if you consider higher, higher, um, higher run. <clears throat> so here, I look on, so this is a, a, a quasi-split unitary group. So I look on the Zigo parabolic, so P, Zigo parabolic. Um, so rather than considering, um, well, so our goal was, okay, I, want, I wanted to construct something, a function with, well, which is supposed to be, uh, I want to have a function which is modular forward, now it's sort of a function on the H, K point. So that's what the automobile form, right? I think in David's lecture in the first way, you know, we, the function theory, automobile functions are, Functions on this space, or maybe with a suitable level. So, um, so this is. I can do this. I can write. I can use. A, I'm, I'm going to use a new notation called a G. Um, well, okay. Also, small G to indicate this is a Hermitian bundle. Um, but now I'm going to use sort of a uh, uh, zero view. So here, G is actually bundle G. Again. Um, um, I also want to do its um, conjugate view, but then I trace by, this, by the, uh, the canonic bundle, uh, line bundle. Um, okay, this is sort of a, um, and you will see the reason to do, of doing that, just sort of we're going to apply some direct serial view obviously later on. So, so it's more natural to do serial view here rather than a linear view we did earlier. Um, so G is, uh, yeah, it's on the over, um, from N of two, two M, a point, constant. Sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, should this be clear as well why this is the analog of UMM, listing by the canonical bundle? Oh, no, no, actually, no, it's, uh, I think you can, you can do without this. So the, maybe the right would be everything is to introduce a similar factor, all the places. So this is more like a uh, commission bundle with, with a similitude factor. So the GU, uh, similitude, similitude unit her group. Um, GU, where you have a so line bundle building. Um, so 
Right. So for the moment, really, this, I'm not. I'm just trying to. Uh, I should have maybe given different notation, but anyway, I'm using H to indicate uh, a setup where I use I, I'm using a uh, serial view rather than a linear view. So anyway, so this yeah, so we can specifically so I define a stack. Then we take the key points. Um, so anyway, you can again this definitely not um, it's, it's it's probably familiar to the people in the field. You just now I take bump P, where P is a Zeebo parabolic. So this parameterized pair, where E is a Lagrangian, um, where I have, I have the conditional bundle G together with a the here E um, is a sub bundle. So the Lagrangian maximum one. Um, for the formation parent. So that's the um, key. So yeah, so the um, so our primary connotation will be a function actually on bump P. Uh, then the conjecture will be that actually my uh, you know function on bump P this function on bump, bump H. So that that would be sort of like statement of. Uh, saying that uh, you know, this for expansion actually defines a modular form or modular form. Okay, so so how do I do that? So now so now I want to attach a function. So I want to attach attach a function. So modular function from bound P. Um, to well. Child, child of a homology group of a of a student. Um, all right. So, so I want to take for expansion. So, so what is the for expansion here now? Um, so I'm going to attach a. So this, this function is called um, um, beta. Um, so I attach each um, each triple here. So the following, so let me write it down and I explain what is the definition here. So some of the Fourier span, Fourier coefficient, beta attached to B and G. So let me ignore the uh, formation form, although again, it's, it's part of the data for the bundle G. Um, so the value will be, okay, up to some simple constant. So again, this looks like Fourier expansion. So, so it's parameterized by, by formation form, so naming parameters by formation mark from E is still, um, yeah, maybe, maybe the zero view, then pull back by sigma. So, um, so this is sort of, you, in the usual case, you have formation module form is parameters by, you know, like some formation, symmetric formation uh, matrices. So this is analog. So then you have, Let's fix additive character C. So there's a parent between this class. Um, so here E is a Lagrangian, so I have to have an extension class. So the quotient will be exactly the oh, this is a serial um, So this extension class uh, is called E, E, G. So this extension class, so you know, serial du ser duality, you can pair, and maybe I mess up, maybe here I don't have the usual view, so, so I have a pair between um, the extension class and, and this formation map. So, so here I'm just applying a serial duality here. So I get a number, um, then multiply by the class, you know, child times what I call class with Z, E and A. So, so the key is to construct this this class, this class that in the child. So parameterized by by um by the Lagrangian uh, E in G and, and a uh, formation map A between E and its uh, uh its complicated view. So so actually now the construction is rather easy once I sort of I have my already I have my show concept so, to here. So let me describe the definition of this cycle of this, uh, this class 
indices by uh, by e and a. Um, right. So here I have I had my stool count, uh, so which is given by this time world. So now it's more like a Haitian type modular definition. So I have some come on look at the e. G e. so this will be um, constructed as a thumb chart here above Shiduka G. Um, so I had already Shiduka, well, this parameter wise, um, maps from E to E is given. Um, right, so maybe writing this way. So E goes to everything, so E has a map. Um, so, e, so the map from E to every guy here, compatible with this, compatible with this diagram. So, um, so now is e, ah maybe I forgot to say uh, here I should have. So I've emphasized we're just taking the key points, not, not you know, not as a factor. I mean, not as not as the stack. Um, just the key point. Well, it's, it's a zero dimensional stack, so a discrete version. So in other words, I can yeah, I can I mean I can repeat everything. I post think of this as e right e everywhere. I can do the same diagram, right? Although it's 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 sort of constant, there's no modification, there's no so the trivial modification, then the last one, E isomorphic to the Frobenius full back E. So then I have everything so vertically. So on. There's no, no interesting modification, sort of repeating the same thing, but um, with, with no modification. For the for the e power. Okay, so this is um, so this is the definition here. Um, so the map the power is like um, such diagram. Um, so the, it has a it has a um, a map to a hitching like base. Base. Uh, because you see that I have a map from E to each F I. Um, so E has the map to F I to zero. F to zero has the permission form, so I have a duality. So if I apply the composition, so the composition will be will be marked from, from E to the conjugate U. So this is my map called, I call the A. So this is actually, so, so this is, I mean, I can, I can define this as a hitching, sort of hitching base as to E, just permission map between A and this, I mean, on, uh, permission map uh, on E. Right. So the permission form on E. So this goes, there's a map, the hitching that face up to its pay point. Um, Sorry, I, I lost right. that you were, you were saying you have a map from E to F naught, and so you get out of that diagram a map from E to the sigma star. Right. And start, yeah. And is that the same? So, as so as, is that let's, let's call this phi phi zero and so on. Right? So, yeah. zero, phi zero, no, I mean, six, the two, so the composition will be called A. And it's the same A that you had. Right, so well, oh, so I'm defining a map here. Oh, 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 oh. So this give me the partition. So this give me a, a partition of uh, of this functor. You know, I mean this. Okay, this is it's also Artinus uh, Artinus scheme uh, stack. So I I have a map to discrete stack, uh, uh, you know, stack. But you know, this is a it's this is more elementary. It's, it's some finite, which is a finite dimensional k vector space. So, 
So the so the A part will be the so the, the pre-image of, of this part. Uh, uh, so um this mark. So yeah, so this will be defined as the, the A part so the partitions. Uh, so this is a disjoint union of open and closed substuff. The inverse of A. Uh, well, okay, that's just as naive definition. Uh, this, I should write it, this is actually a uh, finite uh, morphism. Uh, well, the problem is the definition is not correct, uh, unless in, you're in a very special case. So, so actually to give, so I really have to take the certain virtual fundamental class supported uh, on this space. Um, so that's so that so this is one way you can do it. So you can directly um, you can stratify stratify this Z of A according to uh, whether this this mark is injective or not. If it's injective, the injective locus behaves pretty well. I mean, um, so you can for the injective locus, you can use what I mentioned earlier. I can. I can define a uh, similar uh, space for not for U n but for G O n over quadratic. So over there, I can I can write I can rewrite this intersection part from a certain Stuka construction out of Hitchin module, right? Where so you you first consider module map from E to N, then you define the, the head stack and the Stuka space. So that definition actually for G O n works nicely. The right uh, the analog de analogs definition on GLN as an intersection of smooth spaces. So that's intrinsic. Then you can define from the virtual phenomenal class using known construction. Um, but that only works for for E, uh, I mean for the map, for the stratified for, for the one strata corresponding to the case when the map is injected. So in general, you have to take cut product with certain topological bundle. So, so this internal term class topological bundle, um, uh, using you know we have a lot of line bundles given by this, the co kernel here. So you use uh, those two. So okay, so the punchline is you can give a definition which is sort of classic, just using classical geometry. So that's one definition. The second definition is to upgrade everything. Um, to to derive sort of derived geometry, so there is more intrinsic definition. So, so the second definition, which is actually more useful when, when it comes to the proof of the modularity. So this so, so the second definition is sort of ELG and So upgrade all the construction. Uh, so you actually get a derived um, a derived stack. Um, then you can use uh, the, the sort of intrinsic fundamental class. Defined by a deal uh, time. That's the second definition we used. Uh, so the intrinsic fundamental class for derived um, so in that case you get a second definition. Um, so okay, those definitions coincide. Um, but the second de well, the first definition is sort of you you really you can you can do it with just with the, you know, the realms of classical geometry and the classical in the sense, you know, without derived. Um, but the derived perspective was essential to, to prove what I want to start, uh, uh, say the next. So here I have, I have defined this class. This is the for expansion. Um, so this is the analog of what I wrote earlier. So some sum of a Q to F and square in, in a Jacobi theta box case. Um, okay, so so here I have a function defined on bump P, the zero, you know, bump P or K. So conjecture. So now I can erase everything here because we don't need it anymore. Um, so again, I want to emphasize here, you know, there is a classical definition because we're in the case of unitary group. So we have We're lucky to be close to GON, it's like an embedding with GON, but you know, in the GON case, happens that relative H module 
or you know, like spaces are actually nice when you consider injective locus. Um, so is, is there a way to say this without, you said a definition sort of one E at a time, but is it a way to just say that something like you have on, on bun P times the Stuka space? Like some right, right, yes, yeah, ah, I see, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you can, well, that essentially it follows that you can, so you get a class, right, I can write this, I can rewrite this by saying that I get a class in, um, well, I guess there's some local refinements properly, but anyway, so let's, so, 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 so what I am um, presenting is really uh, a class, so I can, yeah, I can package everything together uh, by saying that you have defined, defined um, a class, the theta, well, this really needs a bound P, on P of K, uh, the K points, so, so this is a class in, well, it's a style group of um, like Stuka. R, uh, R like Stuka times. So, so that's what we have, we have, uh, we have done. <clears throat> so the conjecture is that this class really descends. So this is what we call modularity. Um, so this analogs to what's claimed that this theta function is a module form. So actually, this class theta on P descends to a class um, to this natural map along uh, this projection map. Um, yeah. Still have a class. And on P. So that's so that's my conjecture. <clears throat> oh, sorry, Mitch. Right, P goes to H. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. So in other words, in other words, I mean, you could say that what I'm saying is that I E so any. So what I write earlier, theta E G, which. Uh, a priori depends on this Lagrangian, actually it's independent. Independent of the choice. Um, choice of Lagrangian. So, this choice is, is independent, uh, is a, a redundant. So, so that's the content of this conjecture. Uh, Right. Uh, okay. So, I mean, I should mention that, uh, that there was a version for Shimura variety, right? So if you replace it by Shimura variety, you, you have a pretty much um, uh, same of definitions uh, due to Kodan Rappaport. So, uh, and there was also this conjecture. Um, uh, so, okay, theorem. Uh, so with the pony and the way we pulled, and um, well, we, we don't have well actually. What we pulled was actually you, you pass to the generic fiber, and take take the take a um, cohomology class. So you pass theta is modular. Uh, so if you, if you take is modular, it's, you know, modular in the sense I just mentioned. If we if we compose. Uh, you know, with the child for homology, um, and also pass the generic fight, meaning I consider the G and eta plus R, where eta is, is a generic point of, of uh, the curve. Um, so if you if you pass the cohomology of a generic, I mean not really generic fiber, but it's the generic plug for each single curve, then I take the product. So it's not not really sort of a field. Um, but uh, anyway, that's that's 
um, the result that one can be prove. Um, so, okay, so that is completely analogs to the number field case. Uh, so, so, so this is the modularity. So let me also mention, so, so that generalize, so let's generalize uh, the first result I mentioned in the beginning, right? Um, about the modularity of, so, so, the, so that result was about, so the, the case when R, so that is the case when R is zero. Should I mention that when R is zero, um, so, Zero late case. Um, look at our zero. This is actually the same as in the K point. Bungie. So, <laughs> so let me also mention something about the second result. Uh, so it's important. I mean, the second result was important because I mentioned. Uh, it was the only way to get a, a connection to to sort of L function um, because you the only way to get those L functions to use isosceles series. So yes, question. Uh, um, so I'm not sure this actually makes any sense, but this you, you define a cycle on, on Stuker G right. tax on B. Um, by taking virtual fundamental class of some yeah. space. So there's some, right. there's some drive. Is there is there any sense in which this modularity holds before passing to virtual? Like, does the space itself, in some sense, this oh, have the, a chance to descend, or is that not? Or is it only? No, we are. Uh, if you do not take any, I don't have to make sense of that, right? So, I mean, as as a cycle, or even before taking the. I mean, there's some space that's pass. mapping here, and you can ask right. a pullback of some some space mapping over. Uh, that's probably not true. I don't think it's true. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to module some relation with it. I don't think it's true on the nose of some space. Right. Yeah. So there's something unfavorable happening. Okay. Um, so, so let me just take another result. Um, so the zero V arithmetic. Um, zero V. Um, only for the non singular term. So, so here, remember, I have E equals to E. Um, U. If this is non, non degenerate, so this is for G being UN, where H is UN, comma N. In other words, M equals N, other in case. So, in this case, uh, the, sort of the virtual dimension of the cycles. Uh, the work of them is zero, so it's supposed to be a zero cycle. So in that case, turns out the cycle, well, actually Z of A, in this case is actually is actually a, a scheme, a proper scheme. So it's, it's a space of finite height. <clears throat> so it makes sense to take a degree. Um, so in this case, you can prove this is Eisenstein series. The Eisenstein series. Um, well, the Z Eisenstein series, meaning it's induced from from a character of the Z power body. This is one of the most degenerate Eisenstein series. I'm oh, sorry, the R derivatives. Derivative. And evaluate the center of the Eisenstein series. It should maybe emphasize this has R legs, but R uh, in the, in the superscript. Um, so, so that is generally the second result, right? It sort of tells you the Fourier coefficient of Eisenstein series is actually given by, by the degree of those cycles. So, okay, so I'm sort of over time. Um, maybe, let me just finish by seeing that uh, a few ingredients in the pool. Um, so, I mentioned one which was already useful in, in defining, making definition, you have to construct derived uh, enhancement of a, of a, so one thing I mentioned was derived enhancement of the construction I, I wrote. So it was, <coughs> this was actually also needed in the proof of last result, 
Um, so you have to sort of do some version of derived Fourier uh, analysis. So in other words, uh, generalizing sort of Deline and the Lamont uh, UEL Fourier transform on vector bundles to uh, derive the vector bundle. So then finally, um, so we have to do some version of um, cheap cycle correspondence. Um, so remember the sheep function correspondence says if you have certain cohomology correspondence, then you can take trace to get a, you know, a function, right? Um, so here, actually, we have to sort of consider correspondence with some shift of degree. So the output of your trace will not be some degree zero, but some cohomology class, which would recover those cohomology, cohomological class of, of our cycle. So, uh, so maybe my final remark is, I think, according to Tony and Adil Khan, they, they can actually, they are working to generalize the formula is, uh, you know, this, so the shift cycle then from cohomology group to sort of child group. So if that is done, actually, you, you could upgrade the result to child group. Um, so yeah, I want to finish by saying that, of course, there's still a lot of things to be done. For example, here we're only able to define this quantity uh, when, uh, what's that? I didn't write it here. This is, uh, I mean, injected. Which is the same as in, uh, you know, um, a code kind of importing because the, the source and target have the same run. Of course, in code kernel, in this case, you do have a proper scheme. Um, but in general, this might not be proper, so there's no definition of degree. So on the other hand, the right hand side, the Eisenhower series, there's always definition. So somehow we don't know how to make this complete. So that's one thing which is recent. Otherwise, of course, here we're only able to pull something over generic fiber. So we don't know how to pass to the total space. Uh, finally, is what I mean, if you're able to do both, then combine them, you might be able to get some uh, application of, you know, like, uh, so take or balancing type conjecture where you say this child group has a um, certain property if they all function as sort of vanishing order being one. So that's in the, in the line of version of some direct transition. So that would be sort of the, one of the ultimate application out of this, uh, out of this line of use uh, consideration. So, okay, I'm sort of five minutes past, so you can stop here. <laughs>